What I'll show you now, we put out an overall picture saying that the AAP could end up with about 20% of the vote and virtually every observer of Indian politics has been wondering, ye vote kaha se aara hai? So now, out of that total 20, Pradeep Gupta and Access My India are projecting for India today that 5% of the vote comes from the BJP out of that 20. So 5% BJP voters breaking away for up. 12% of that vote, which is the big bulk, the majority of that vote, coming from the Congress, 3% coming from others. What that essentially means is that 6 out of 10 people who said they voted for AAP were originally Congress voters who this time have flipped. Out of the 5% uh, who voted for AAP from the BJP, which means that about 1 in 4 AAP voters are traditionally BJP voters. So the propensity, Pradeep, yeah. uh, is for AAP to break the traditional Congress vote much more than the BJP vote and your data also suggests that. Yes, that's true and in fact when we try and further decode the data, we will, you know, last time, I just wanted to and make sure uh, all our viewers that last time Access My India predicted the lower range of 99 for the BJP and BJP secured only 99 and higher range for the Congress and Alliance which is 80 seats to 77 plus 3 seats of BTP 2 and 1 of NCP Congress secured. So last time Muslim voted 84% in favor of Congress. This time that vote share of Muslim community for Congress is only 54% and 30 went to Aam Admi Party. Now coming to most important and interesting part of last election, the 2017 election, which was the Patel's Partidar agitation and on the virtue of that, among the Kadwa Patel, BJ, Congress secured 50%, BJP 44%. Congress got a better share than BJP among the Kadwa Patels. This time, that has reduced for the Congress to 16 one six. One six. So it's crashed. It's crashed. And BJP now securing 58% and 20% going to... So the entire Aam past Party. agitation in some sense is uh, now defunct or defanged by the BJP. You know, I I linked to that is a very important number. When you look at Aam Army Party Congress, 31% of scheduled tribe vote yeah. in a state with a 15% scheduled tribe. Scheduled tribes are more in Gujarat than Dalits. Dalits, Dalits are about 8 to 9%. STs are 15%, 27 reserve seats. AAP has got 31% as per the exit poll. Congress is getting 27%. I don't know when last STs voted more for a party other than the Congress in a state election in Gujarat. National election, the BJP gets a higher vote percentage there. But in a state election, and I can tell you, congressmen are looking at this figure very carefully. A senior Congress poll analyst told me this morning, I am shocked by these numbers. Is this true? And they wanted our micro data to be made available to them because they said it can't be possible that among Dalits and tribals we are doing not as well as we expected. Because even in Dalits, it's 35% Congress, 30% AAP. Okay. So AAP has eaten into a traditional Congress vote bank, Rahul. And that's why the AAP has damaged the Congress much more than it has damaged the BJP in this election. I want to show our next data set, which again is very fascinating. It tells you how much of the vote that the parties won in the last election have they retained, how much have they lost and who have they lost it to. So let's start from the BJP, which won 49% of the vote share last time. They have retained about 80% of their voters. 80% of those uh, who voted for BJP have tended to vote, it for the, to vote for the BJP again. 5% have switched over to the Congress, 10% going to the Aam Aadmi Party. Amongst those who voted for the Congress in the last election, the Congress has been able to retain only 53%, 12% going to the BJP, 28% of that going to the Aam Aadmi Party. That's a big number there. Congress holding on just to about half the people who voted, who said in the poll they voted for the Congress the last time. And that's really uh, important as well, Pradeep, because that essentially suggests that in comparison to 2017, 
amongst those who voted for the Congress, the Congress has lost about 47% of their vote. Yeah, that's what I kept on saying in Gujarat. There are three, three, uh, three demography, caste demography, which is the Dalit, Adivasi and Muslim, contributes about 30%. And last time, Congress also secured the vote of Patels, which is the 16% in total. And Congress got roughly 50% of Patel votes, which is a very sizable number. And this time, the Patels has went away to BJP, whereas this 30% of Dalit, uh, Adivasi and Muslims, bulk of went to Aam Admi Party. And that is why uh, the Congress should be deeply, deeply disturbed mm -hmm. about the trends coming from Gujarat. A, they fought a half-hearted campaign. B, in the numbers, their vote bank has been broken apart. They're just... You know, it's just like the breaking apart of the Congress vote bank in Gujarat, which has hurt them this time, could potentially be worse in the next election. election.